Lancaster University, legally the University of Lancaster, is a collegiate public research university in Lancaster, Lancashire, England. The university was established by Royal Charter in 1964, one of several new universities created in the 1960s. The university was initially based in St. Leonard's Gate in the city centre, before moving in 1968 to a purpose-built 300 acres 120 hectares campus at Bailrig, 4 kilometres 2.5 miles to the south. The campus buildings are arranged around a central walkway known as the Spine, which is connected to a central plaza, named Alexandra Square in honour of its first chancellor, Princess Alexandra. Lancaster is one of only six collegiate universities in the UK. The colleges are weakly autonomous. The eight undergraduate colleges are named after places in the historic county of Lancashire, and each have their own campus residence blocks, common rooms, administration staff and bar. Lancaster is ranked in the top ten in all three national league tables, and received a gold rating in the government's inaugural 2017 Teaching Excellence Framework. In 2018 it was awarded University of the Year by The Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide, and achieved its highest ever national ranking of sixth place within the guide's national table. The annual income of the institution for 2016-17 was £267 million of which £37.7 million was from research grants and contracts, with an expenditure of £268.7 million, along with the universities of Durham, Leeds, Liverpool, Manchester, Newcastle, Sheffield and York, Lancaster as a member of the N8 group of research universities. Elizabeth II, Duke of Lancaster, is the visitor of the university. The current Chancellor is Alan Milburn, since 2015. Topic History After the Second World War higher education became an important concern of government as it tried to cope with the demands of an expanding population and the advent of a new technological age. Between 1958 and 1961 seven new plate glass universities were announced including Lancaster. The choice of Lancaster as the site of the fourth new university was announced on 23 November 1961 in a written answer in the House of Commons. The university was established by Royal Charter in 1964. The charter stipulated that Princess Alexandra of Kent be the first Chancellor. She was inaugurated in 1964. The ceremony also saw the granting of various honorary degrees to dignitaries including the Prime Minister, Harold Wilson. Princess Alexandra retired as Chancellor in 2004 and was the longest-serving Chancellor of any British university. On her departure, she gave approval for the Chancellor's Medal to be awarded for academic merit to the highest performing undergraduates and postgraduates. Each year presentations are made to up to five graduates of taught master's courses and up to six to the highest performing undergraduates. The university accepted its first students in October 1964 and there were initially 13 professors, 32 additional members of teaching and research staff, 8 library staff and 14 administrators on academic grades. The motto, Padit Omnibus Veritas, Truth Lies Open to All, was adopted. The first science students were admitted in 1965. The university was temporarily based in the city. A lecture theater and the university's first junior common room were based in Centenary Church, a former congregational church beside the old factory premises of Waring and Gillow, which were used to accommodate the new students. Many new students were housed in Morecambe. The Grand Theatre was leased as a main lecture room and 112 and 114 in the St. Leonard's Gate area became teaching and recreational rooms. The library occupied the old workshops of Shrigley and Hunt on Castle Hill. 
Boland and Lonsdale were founded as the university's first two colleges, and all staff and students were allocated to one of the two, although the first college buildings would not be completed until 1966. The first students moved into residence and set up the first JCRs in October 1968. The university moved from the city to the new campus at Bailrig between 1966 and 1970. In 2014, Lancaster University celebrated its 50th anniversary with a series of events throughout the year, involving alumni, staff, students, and local community members. Topic Campus Topic Bail Rig The purpose-built campus occupies Bailrig, a 360-acre site donated by Lancaster City Council in 1963. The campus buildings are located on a hilltop, the lower slopes of which are landscaped parkland which includes Lake Carter Duck Pond and the university playing fields. Lake Carter is named after Charles Carter, the first vice-chancellor of the university, and it was built in the early 1900s. The site is 3 miles 5 kilometers south of the city centre. Construction of the Bailrig campus began in November 1965, with the first building completed a year later. The first on-campus student residences opened in 1968. In contrast to some of the other campus universities, Bailrig was designed to integrate social, residential, and teaching areas. Another major feature of the design was that there would not be a large central students' union building, but that the individual colleges would be the center of social and recreational facilities. Vehicular and pedestrian traffic is separated, this is achieved by restricting motor vehicles to a peripheral road with a linking underpass running east-west beneath Alexandra Square. The underpass accommodates the Bailrig bus station and was refurbished in autumn 2010. Car parking is arranged in cul-de-sacs running off the peripheral road. The campus buildings are arranged around a central walkway known as the Spine. The walkway runs from North County College to Southwest Graduate College and is covered for most of its length. The main architect was Gabriel Epstein of Shefford and Epstein. On a barren hilltop on a windswept day in 1963 the two architectural partners surveyed the future site of the university. Peter Shefford recalled that day, We went up there on a windy day, and it was freezing cold. Every time we opened a plan it blew away. And we said Christ. What are we going to do with these students, where are they going to sit in the sun and all that? Well, we decided, it's got to be cloisters. All of the buildings have got to touch at the ground. We then devised this system and it had an absolutely firm principle, it had a great spine down the middle where everybody walked. That led everywhere. The cars were on the outside, on both sides. When you came into the spaces things were square, they were rectangular courtyards and they were all slightly different. There were two or three essentials, one was that the covered way had to be continuous, the buildings had to be three or four stories high and connecting to the next one. I thought it worked very well. Between 2016 and 2018 the spine was extensively remodeled in a project known as Design the Spine, with the aim of replacing the decaying wooden canopy, widening bottlenecks, and creating new landscaped green spaces. Alexandra Square is the university's main plaza. 
Named after the first chancellor, HRH Princess Alexandra, it is situated at the center of the original campus and contains the library in the southwest corner. Designed in 1964 by Tom Meller and Partners, the first phase opening in September 1966, the second in July 1968, and the third in January 1971. The library was extended in 1997 and underwent a phased refurbishment in 2014, which was completed in 2016. In 1998 the Ruskin Library designed by Sir Richard McCormack was opened. On the west side of the square is University House as well as various banks and shops. To the southeast of the square is the tallest building on campus, the 14-story Bolan Tower, which contains accommodation and disguises the boiler room chimney. One of the most distinctive of the Bailrig buildings is the freestanding University Chaplaincy Center. Opened on 2 May 1969, the architects were the Preston-based firm Cassidy and Ashton. The building has a trefoil plan with a central spire where the three circles meet. The university's former logo is based on the spire. A plan existed to have a twin campus with another eight colleges to the east of the M6 motorway at Hazelrig. This would have been linked to Bailrig by a flyover. The plan was abandoned in the 1970s during a period of financial difficulties. Topic. Southwest Campus The university began expansion onto the lower slopes of Bailrig with the development of new buildings for Graduate College in 1998, which is now part of Southwest Campus. Development continued with the construction of Infolab 21 and Alexandra Park which now houses Lonsdale College, Cartmel College and the en-suite rooms of Pendle College. The development of Infolab 21 met objections with the proposed building being described as a Dalek factory. Cartmel College is built around Barker House Farm, a listed 17th-century farmhouse and outbuildings that form the center of the college. Topic. Health Innovation Center The university is planning a health innovation campus adjacent to the existing campus. The campus will create 2,000 jobs and boost the local economy by around £100 million. The £29.7 million contract for construction of the first building was awarded to BAM Construction in October 2017, with construction beginning in December 2017 and completion by September 2019. This building will be 80,000 square feet and will require the construction of an access road with a junction to the A6. Topic services The Bailrig campus hosts a range of shops and services. Services on campus include Bailrig Post Office, Barclays Bank, Santander Bank, a health center, a pharmacy and a dental practice. Shops on campus include a sparse supermarket, LUSU Central, a convenience store, a subway, a charity shop, the proceeds of which go to St. John's Hospice, a Westmouth, a hairdresser's, Greg's, Costa, Blackwell's, Go Burrito, Walk In, Jewy Cafe, Sultan of Lancaster, Wong's and an ice cream parlor open in the summer months. The campus also hosts Bailrig Motors, providing vehicle repairs, services and MOTs as well as a filling station and car wash. Topic: Cultural venues. At the north end of campus, the university's Great Hall complex comprises three venues open to both students and the public, the Peter Scott Gallery, the Nuffield Theatre and the Lancaster International Concert Series. In 2009, these three organizations were combined as one department by the university, initially termed the Public Arts but later renamed Live at LICA, with Matt Fenton overseeing this unification. 
In August 2015 Live at LICA was rebranded to Lancaster Arts at Lancaster University to avoid confusion with the department of LICA, then director Jamie Eastman stated that, "...this new name and logo communicates who we are, where we are and what we're offering." The Peter Scott Gallery is open to the public free of charge. The gallery is located on the Bailrig campus and houses the university's international art collection, which includes Japanese and Chinese art, antiquities, works by 20th-century British artists including works by artists from the St. Ives School, Sir Terry Frost, Wilhelmina Barnes Graham, Barbara Hepworth and William Scott. Among other British artists whose work is represented are Norman Adams, Patrick Caulfield, Elizabeth Frink, Kenneth Martin and Winifred Nicholson. Within the last 15 years works by Andy Goldsworthy, Peter Howson and Albert Irvin have been acquired. The university collection also includes prints by significant European artists such as Dürer, Miro, Ernst and Vassarelli. Lancaster International Concert Series is the main provider of classical music in North Lancashire and Cumbria. Concerts are held within the Great Hall. Between October and March each year the series offers a varied diet of music which includes, orchestral concerts, chamber music, events for young people, jazz, family concerts and world music. Under the leadership of Professor Tony McHenry, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, music as a subject for study at Lancaster was abandoned in 2009. The Nuffield Theatre, a black box theatre, is one of the largest and most adaptable professional studio theatres in Europe. It presents public performances in the fields of theatre, contemporary dance and live art from some of the best known and respected companies from the UK and abroad. The focus of the work is new and experimental practice, a focus it shares with many of the teaching and research interest of Lancaster Institute for the Contemporary Arts LICA. The Nuffield presents up to 30 visiting professional shows a year, plus public performances by students from theatre studies, and the university's student theatre and dance societies and a range of local community organisations. The Ruskin Library houses archive material related to the poet, author and artist John Ruskin. It is open to the public, although only a small part of the collection is on public display at once. The building was constructed in 1997 by architect Richard McCormack. The White House collection housed in the Ruskin Library is the largest holding of books, manuscripts, photographs, drawings and watercolors by and related to John Ruskin in the world. <laughs> Off campus. The university maintains two rooms at the Story in Lancaster City Centre as postgraduate study space. In 2016, the university purchased the 165 acre Forest Hills Conference Centre and Golf Course, located on the M6 opposite the main campus, which it continues to operate as a conference venue. Topic. Chancellor's Wharf Chancellor's Wharf is the name of Lancaster University's off-campus student accommodation. It consists of three buildings by the Lancaster Canal on Aldcliffe Road. The location near the city centre, opposite the Water Witch Pub and the Royal Lancaster Infirmary. It is open to members of all of the university's colleges. Residents remain members of their various colleges, with Chancellor's Wharf itself being only a hall of residence. Topic: <laughs> Organization and Administration. Topic: <laughs> 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 Colleges. The university has nine colleges. 
Formerly, these were quasi-autonomous bodies providing for accommodation, welfare, social life and student discipline, but are currently centrally controlled. All members of the university are members of a college, although in recent years academic staff have had decreasing involvement. Most colleges have about 8 or 900 members and all on-campus accommodation is linked to a college, with blocks or individual flats being linked to one college or another each year according to demand. The colleges were governed by a syndicate, including a principal originally a senior academic but nowadays more usually a middle-ranking administrator or IT professional, a dean and assistant deans responsible for student discipline, together with a senior advisor, heading a team of college advisors. These were previously known as senior tutor and college tutors, but the titles were changed in 2011 to advisor to avoid possible confusion with academic advisors in students' academic departments. Collectively, the colleges are run by their individual SCR senior common room and JCR junior common room, the latter being made up of student members of the college. Prior to the founding of the Ninth College, Graduate College, in 1992, the eight colleges housed both undergraduate and postgraduate students. Today all postgraduate students are members of Graduate, which was founded to specifically address the needs of postgraduates and provide year-round provision for courses with different term dates. Students on integrated master's degrees however are still considered undergraduates and therefore remain in their original colleges. Seven of the eight undergraduate colleges are named after regions of the traditional county of Lancashire, whilst County College is named after Lancashire County Council which financed its construction. The college buildings accommodate a number of academic departments, but are primarily social and accommodation facilities, each with its own bar, which forms part of the university's commercial services and is open when profitable. <laughs> <laughs> academic departments The university is divided into four faculties. Each faculty is led by a dean, and each academic department by a head of department. The various administrative and technical departments that exist outside of the four faculties are collectively known as professional services, and include facilities, admissions, and the library. Governance <laughs> 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 The university is governed by three main statutory bodies, the Council, the Senate, and the Court. The Council of the University, chaired by the Pro-Chancellor, is the governing body, consisting of mainly lay members along with representatives of staff and students. It is responsible for the proper management and financial solvency of the university, with major policy decisions and corporate strategy being subject to its approval. The majority of council members are lay members, neither staff nor students of the university. The Senate of the university, chaired by the vice chancellor, is the principal academic authority. It oversees academic management and sets strategy and priorities, including the curriculum and maintenance of standards. Membership of the Senate consists mainly of the faculty deans, heads of academic departments, and college principals. The court offers a means whereby the wider interests served by the university can be associated with the institution, and provides a public forum where members of court can raise any matters about the university. A majority of the members of the court are from outside the university, representing the local community and other designated bodies with an interest in the work of the university. The final meeting of the court took place in January 2018, with the university currently planning to replace it with an annual public meeting. Visitor 
The visitor of the university is Queen Elizabeth II. The visitor is the final arbiter of any dispute within the university, except in those areas where legislation has removed this to the law courts or other ombudsmen. Student complaints and appeals were heard by the visitor until the Higher Education Act 2004 came into force. All student complaints are now heard by the Office of the Independent Adjudicator for Higher Education. Topic. Chancellor The Chancellor, currently Alan Milburn, is the formal and ceremonial head of the university former Chancellor Sir Chris Bonington serves as the Chancellor's ambassador, whilst Roger Little is the current pro-Chancellor and chair of the University Council. Topic. Vice Chancellor. The Vice-Chancellor is the Chief Academic and Executive Officer of the University. The Vice-Chancellor is supported by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, three Pro-Vice-Chancellors, and the Provost for Student Experience, Colleges and the Library. Topic. Academic profile Topic. Admissions In terms of average UCAS points of entrance, Lancaster ranked joint 25th in Britain in 2014. The average entry standard at Lancaster is around 159 UCAS points new tariff system, with almost all courses requiring at least AAA or AAB at a level as of 2017. The university gives offers of admission to over 90% of its applicants, the third highest in the UK, according to the 2017 Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide. Approximately 10% of Lancaster's undergraduates come from independent schools. In the 2016 17 academic year, the university had a domicile breakdown of 66 hours 10 minutes and 23 seconds of UK, EU, non EU students respectively, with a female to male ratio of 51 to 49. <laughs> Reputation and rankings In the Sunday Times 10-year average ranking of British universities based on consistent league table performance, Lancaster was ranked joint 19th overall in the UK. As of recent years, the university has been placed within the top 10 by UK newspaper league tables and in the top 150 worldwide by the main global rankings see information box for current rankings. It was also ranked the top university in the northwest of England for all 10 years of recordings by the Complete University Guide. In 2014, its 50th year, Lancaster University was ranked 10th in the The 100 Under 50, a list of the world's best universities under 50 years old. It also appeared in the lists of QS 50 Under 50 in all the years before 2014 when it was under 50 years old. Topic. Joint programs Lancaster University partnered with Sunway University, Malaysia to offer dual awards undergraduate program since 2006. Lancaster University entered into a dual degree program with the COMSATS Institute of Information Technology, CIIT, Lahore. It simultaneously offered two degrees, from CIIT and Lancaster University, graduates would be alumni of both universities. This was the first program between a UK and a Pakistani university. However, the dual nature of the program proved problematic and the relationship ended. A partnership in a new university venture, University Academy 92 was announced in 2017. 
Lancaster will provide teaching and validate proposed degrees in media, sport, business and psychology at a new campus in Trafford, Greater Manchester. The project was set up by the class of 92 Manchester United soccer players Phil Neville, Nicky Butt, Ryan Giggs, Gary Neville and Paul Scholes. Subtext, Lancaster's in-house critical newsletter, asked, Why are we taking a 40% financial stake and a 100% reputational share of what is essentially a new university set up with a group of retired footballers? Local opinion on the project is also divided as it reaches the planning application stage. Topic programs abroad In October 2013, Lancaster University announced the opening of a branch campus in Accra, Ghana, to serve the population of Ghana and all of Africa, providing a British university-level education locally to those students. The campus is operated in partnership with transnational academic group Ghana Limited, and offers undergraduate and graduate programs in management, business, economics and international relations, politics and international relations, accounting and finance, marketing, computer science, law and psychology along with an EMBA program. Plans are in place for an additional campus in Leipzig, Germany from 2019. Lancaster opened opened the Joint Institute for Environmental Research and Education GIA in Guangzhou, China in 2016, in partnership with the South China Agricultural University SCAU. A joint environmental science undergraduate degree began in September 2016 with students spending two years at each institution. The Chinese Ministry of Education gave permission in April 2016 for Lancaster to establish Lancaster University College, Beijing Jiaotong University in Weihai, Shandong Province. Research Lancaster's research income for 2015–16 was £38.3 million. In the 2014 Research Excellence Framework Assessment, Lancaster was ranked 18th out of 128 UK universities, including 13th for the percentage of world-leading research. The university places a particular focus on interdisciplinary research, encouraging collaborative research across academic departments. In 2012, Lancaster University announced a partnership with the UK's biggest arms company, Base Systems, and four other Northwestern universities Liverpool, Salford, Auckland, and Manchester in order to work on the Gamma program, which aims to develop autonomous systems. According to the University of Liverpool when referring to the programme, "...autonomous systems are technology-based solutions that replace humans in tasks that are mundane, dangerous and dirty, or detailed and precise, across sectors, including aerospace, nuclear, automotive and petrochemicals." International Foundation Year The International Foundation Year is a program of academic subjects, study skills and English language preparation which is specifically designed to provide international students with a pathway to degree study at Lancaster University. Students select one pathway from one of six, business and management, engineering and computing, law, life sciences, mathematics and statistics or social studies. Once the student completes the program and achieve the required grades usually 70% overall, then the student can enter the first year of their chosen undergraduate degree at Lancaster University. Topic. Student life Topic. Students' Union Lancaster University Students' Union is the representative body of students at the university. 
Unusually, there is no main union building, instead the union is organized through the eight college JCRs, each of which has its own social venues and meeting spaces. The union is, however, allocated an administration building by the university. SCAN acronym for Student Comments and News is the union's newspaper and was established in 1967, making it the oldest student media on campus. LUSU owns a nightclub in Lancaster called The Sugar House, operates a shop on campus, LUSU Central, and also an off-campus housing agency LUSU Living. LUSU also helps to support LUSU Involve, a volunteering unit allowing Lancaster University students to become involved with communities locally and internationally. There are over 200 different societies operating within Lancaster University. Common areas include sports, hobbies, politics, academic, culture and religion. There are several fairs during the Freshers period in which various clubs and societies promote themselves. Topic sport Every summer term the students take part in the Roses Tournament against the University of York. The venue of the event alternates annually between Lancaster and York. The competition takes its name from the 15th century Civil War, the War of the Roses, and is organized by the university's respective student unions, LUSU and YUSU. Lancaster University Athletics Club LUAC, was formed in May 2011. The start of the 2011–12 academic year saw the first athletes join the club and by the end of the year receive awards for LUSU Society of the Year 2012 and were winners of the Lancaster Athletics Cup 2012. In the 2012–13 academic year the club was given the opportunity to compete in Bucks and Roses along with other sporting societies at Lancaster University, Lancaster University Swimming and Water Polo Club LUSWP, formerly known as Lust competes in both Bucks and Roses in the sports swimming and water polo. The swimming team also competes in other charity galas, such as Quest for the Crest, held at Manchester Aquatics Centre. The Bucks swimming competitions include Bucks Short Course National Championships, Bucks Team Championships, and Bucks Long Course Championships, of which there has recently been attendance from Olympic swimmers such as James Guy and 50m and 100m world champion Adam Peaty. In addition, the water polo team competes in the Apollo League. LUSWP won the Lancaster University Club of the Year in both academic years 2015-2016, and 2016-2017. Intercollegiate sport A number of intercollegiate sporting events exist within the university. Leagues exist in football, netball, pool, darts and dominoes. Pool, darts and dominoes collectively form an overall bar sports league known as the George Wyatt Cup. The Carter Shield is contested between every college with bi-weekly matches open to all, and is intended as a light-hearted competition to promote lesser-known sports. There are also a number of annual sporting events between specific colleges. Founders is contested every year between Boland and Lonsdale, the two oldest colleges at the university. The competition was created in 2004 to ensure that the friendly rivalry between the two colleges would continue after Lonsdale's relocation meant they would no longer be neighbors. The 2018 Founders Series was officially cancelled after disagreements between the two colleges, but continued unofficially under the tongue-in-cheek name, Undergrounders. Legends was formerly contested between Grisdale, County, Pendle and Fylde Colleges. Following Fylde and subsequently County's withdrawal in 2017, it was replaced by the Fylde County Cup and Warriors Grisdale, Pendle. Patriots is contested between Furness and Cartmel Colleges. 
Topic: Arts, Media and Culture. Alongside sport, Lancaster University has a vast selection of arts societies across campus in the areas of performance, media and music. Examples of performance-based societies include Lancaster University Theatre Group LUTG, the Comedy Institute, Lancaster University Film Production LUFP, University of Lancaster Music Society ULMS, and Hip Hop and Breakdance. There is also the Vagina Monolanx, a student-run group performing the Vagina Monologues, raising awareness of domestic violence against women and girls. In addition, the three most established student media societies consist of the student radio station Bailrig FM, the student newspaper Scan established in 1967 and the student union's television station LA1TV. There is also Take Two Cinema, an on-campus cinema, based in Boland College Lecture Theatre. Religious groups The Lancaster University Chaplaincy Center is located at the north end of campus incorporating various religious groups such as Christian Anglicans, Catholics, Orthodox, Quakers, Jewish, Buddhist, Hindu, as well as various religious societies such as the Baha'i, the Chinese Christian Fellowship, the Postgrad and Mature Students Group and the Pagan Society which hold regular events and meetings. The Islamic prayer rooms are located across from the Chaplaincy Center, in Ash House. Notable people Alumni Business W. Brian Arthur, Operational Research, 1967 Economist Anthony Bergmans, Marketing, 1971, Boland, former chairman of Unilever until 2007 Richard Cuthbertson, Research Director of the Oxford Institute of Retail Management, Oxford University John Moulton, Chemistry, 1973, Furness, Founder, Better Capital Mark Price, Classics and Archaeology, 1982, Boland, Managing Director of Waitrose Bruce Sewell, Psychology, 1979, Boland, Senior Vice President and General Counsel, Apple Dave Snowden, Philosophy, 1975, County College, Knowledge Management Researcher and Consultant Nahid Tahir, Economics, 2001, Graduate College, CEO, Gulf One Investment. Topic. Media Richard Allenson, Economics, 1980, Filed, Radio Presenter Louis Barf, Politics, Journalist Robert Fisk, English Literature, 1968, Lonsdale, Middle East Correspondent, The Independent James May, Music, 1985, Pendle, Television Presenter Anthony Tucker Jones, International Relations and Strategic Studies, 1988, military historian and author. Topic: Arts. Roger Ashton Griffiths, Music, 1978, Furness, actor. Paula Braxton, MA Creative Writing, writer. Lucy Briars, Independent Studies, 1988, Cartmel, Actress Brian Clegg, Operational Research, 1977, Boland, Author of Popular Science Books Joseph Delaney, English, 1975, Lonsdale, Writer Emily Fleischmann, Theatre Studies, 2007, Manchester, Actress Andrew Ford, Music, 1978, Cartmel, Composer Rainer Hirsch, Economics, 1985, Cartmel, Comedian, Musician 
Ursula Holden Gill, Theater Studies, 1999, Graduate College, Actress Yanni Hauker, Independent Studies, 1980, M.A. Creative Writing, 1984, Cartmel, Writer of Teenage Fiction Tez Ilyas, Biochemistry, 2004 Comedian Ralph Innocent, Theater Studies, 1991, Furnace, Actor Ursula Martinez, Performance Studies, Performance Artist Andrew Miller, Creative Writing, 1997 Novelist Caroline Moyer English Literature, Author Satnam Rana, French Studies, 1999, Grisdale, Television Presenter Andy Serkis, Independent Studies, 1985, County, Actor Ranveer Singh, English and Philosophy, 1998, Pendle, television presenter Dean Sullivan, teaching degree, actor, played Jimmy Corkhill in Brookside Sarah Waters, English Literature, 1988, Graduate College, author Peter Wally, Philosophy, 1967, Lonsdale, writer Topic Politics and Law Audrey Azoulay, 1993 French Minister for Culture and Communication Alan Campbell, Politics, 1978, Furness, MP for Tynemouth Simon Danchik, Sociology, 1992, Cartmel, MP for Rochdale Hilton Dawson, Social Admin, 1982, Pendle, former MP for Lancaster Suzanne Evans, Religious Studies, 1987, Cartmel, former Deputy Chairman of the UK Independence Party Theresa Griffin, English and Theatre Studies, 1984 and MA Theatre Studies, 1985, Cartmel, Member of the European Parliament for the North West of England Rami Hamdallah, Linguistics, 1988, Graduate College, Prime Minister of the Palestinian National Authority Ruth Hennig, Baroness Hennig CBE, PhD, History, 1978 Academic and Deputy Speaker in the House of Lords Joan Humble, History, 1972, Lonsdale, former MP for Blackpool North and Fleetwood Allen Milburn, History, 1979, Pendle, former MP for Darlington and current Chancellor Colin Pickthall, Creative Writing, 1967, Lonsdale, former MP for Lancashire West Cat Smith, Sociology and Gender Studies, 2006, Cartmel, MP for Lancaster and Fleetwood Helen Southworth, English, 1978, Lonsdale, former MP for Warrington South. Topic. Sport Jason Queeley MBE, Biological Sciences, 1992, PhD Biological Sciences, Boland, Cyclist Topic. Education Alfred Morris, Accounting and Finance, 1970, Graduate College, former Vice-Chancellor of University of West of England until 2006 Mimi Scheller PG Cert, Learning and Teaching in Higher Education, 2003, Professor of Sociology, Drexel University Topic. Science Paul Baker, Ph.D. in Applied Linguistics, Professor of Linguistics, Lancaster University David Favis Mortlock, Environmental Sciences, 1975, Furness, Environmental Change Institute, University of Oxford Sarah Mercer, Ph.D. in Applied Linguistics, Professor of Linguistics, University of Graz Elena Semino, Ph.D. in Applied Linguistics, Professor of Linguistics, Lancaster University Jane Sunderland, Ph.D. in Applied Linguistics, Professor of Linguistics, Lancaster University Topic. Other. Tom O'Carroll, History, 1967 Pro-Pedophile Advocate and Convicted Criminal <laughs> Notes <laughs>